Sprinkles founder and owner Candace Nelson says the idea for a cupcake vending machine came to her when she experienced her own late night craving for cake and frosting. I was pregnant with my second child and I thought, you know, I'm the owner of a cupcake bakery and even I can't get a cupcake in the middle of the night. So, dreamt up this idea and uh, we're very excited to launch it. The machine operates like an ATM. All you need is plastic and out pops a cupcake to go. The price is $4 outside, only $3.25 inside the store. We've just recently had to um, increase our hours that were open because there are a lot of people and there's a lot of demand. After you know dinner, people want a cupcake. and. But we can't be open all night long because of our poor employees. So we'll just stock it fresh before they leave for the evening, and it'll be good to go. Sprinkles will install three more machines in New York City this summer, then at its bakeries in other cities soon after. 24-hour access to cupcakes? It's a nightmare for dieters. But this vending concept is an advantage for Sprinkles when it comes to cupcake competition. Nelson was on the forefront of baking trends when she and her husband opened this shop 10 years ago. Now she's red velvet royalty as a judge on the Food Network's reality show Cupcake Wars. Sprinkle still has lines out the door, but Nelson says bakeries across the country are flooding the market with snack-sized baked goods. This machine will help Sprinkles stand out. We have one banana, one black and white, four chocolate marshmallows. Customers here think it's a pretty sweet idea. You don't know how many times we sped down here to try to make it before the store before closed. Before closing. You know, they close at different times of night or they're not even open on Sundays, and that's the day that you crave it. You know, you crave it when it's... It's not open. You walk by it and, you know, you get your favorite treat. And, you know, when you want it in the middle of the night or whatever time of day, they're closed. Of course, these folks here are a self-selecting bunch. They're probably not counting calories so they can enjoy every bite. Raquel Maria Dillon, The Associated Press, Beverly Hills, California.